today, the ICE Demo Lab will take a look at ICE Passive Identity Connector version 3.1 and what it takes to upgrade from ICE Pick to a full blown version of ICE. Of course, since this is a version equal to or newer than 3.0, you need smart licensing to go through the steps needed. First, I'll log into the ICE node and check the About ICE and Server details to verify the host name and patch level. Also note the product identifier of ICE VM K9. Then I'll log into the ICE PIC instance and check the About ICE PIC and server details. I have patch 1 installed so we're on the same patch level, but it's also interesting that their product identifier for ICE PIC is ICE VM K9. Log into your smart license account at software.cisco.com and select Manage Licenses. Once you log in, select the Inventory tab and then Licenses to see your smart licenses. Scroll to the section titled ICE VM Licenses. It might be on a second page or a third page. Once you find it, look at the in use count. If you click on that in use number, it'll show you which ICE host names are connected and utilizing those licenses. As you can see, these are the two host names that we verified from before. If we expand this section, you can see the ICE PIC VM licenses and the ICE VMC licenses are both housed in this same section. Now let's go back to the ICE PIC interface. We're going to go to Administration Licensing. Here we can see all the details of our licensing and if we expand our registration details we can see that we've already connected this to Smart Licensing and that the PIC license and ICE VM license have been selected. Going back into our Smart Account we can take a look at our ICE PIC licenses and in the column showing the in use if we click on the in use column we can see that our ICE PIC instance is currently using this license. Now we're going to want to use the connector upgrade so let's go back into our ICE PIC interface select the PIC upgrade and you'll see this error message stating we need a new registration token. So to do that we go back to the smart licensing server go to the general tab and copy our ICE token for our smart licensing to the clipboard. Go back into ICE PIC paste in that registration token, make sure PIC upgrade is selected, and then click update. Now, the progress indicator is all the way at the top of the screen here, and you can't really see it, so I'm going to scroll up a bit so that you can see that updating registration. Once the ICE PIC server connects to the smart licensing server and updates the license registration, the text will go away, and you know that you have been upgraded to the ICE PIC upgrade. We can also verify this by going to the smart license server and looking at the in use column and clicking on the number for in use. You can see here that it is our ICE PIC hostname that is using the ICE PIC upgrade license. Now we're going to go to the interface for our full instance of ICE so that we can register the ICE PIC node to the ICE deployment. As you can see the register button is grayed out. So the first thing we need to do is go into our node and make it a primary node. Scroll all the way down, click save on, at this point, and it will register this as a primary node. You don't have to worry, the server's not going to reboot, it just takes a few seconds. And there we go. Let's go back to our nodes list and try to register the ICE PIC node. Now, if you try to put in the IP address here, you'll see that FQDN is invalid. But go ahead and put in your username and your password and click next. So you're going to get an error here that says the FQDN is not being used. You cannot use an IP address to register a node. Since I do have these nodes registered in DNS, I'll go ahead and I'll use the host name that I've registered. This is going to give us an error stating that we don't have enough licenses in our ICE PIC installation to be able to upgrade to the full version of ICE. So if we go back into our PIC interface and scroll all the way down on our licensing page, we can see that Essentials license is disabled. Essentials is needed to be able to upgrade to the full version of ICE. So at this point we need to select the Essential license and click the Enable button. We're going to get a message stating that this will upgrade the PIC node to an ICE node. Now the node is being upgraded. You have to wait several minutes. This will restart all the processes in ICE. Once the login screen comes up, notice first off that it says Identity Services Engine. It does not say Passive Identity Connector. So go ahead and log in and you'll notice that at the dashboard you have a full feature rich 100% ICE dashboard. Now we go to our primary ICE node and we finish the registration process. We click next here and what was the PIC node is now registered to our primary node. 
click on submit to save all the settings for the different persona and services changes that you may or may not want to make. And once this node registers, we're going to dialog letting us know that it has been registered successfully and that the database will be synced to that node. When I clicked OK, it took me to the licensing page. You can see that the UDI details have been updated for a secondary pan. If we go back to administration system deployment, you can see both nodes are currently listed. The yellow triangle means that a sync is in progress. When it's done, it will change into a green checkbox.